heavy rain, severe storms, and flooding. Time to find out more about how to minimize the impact of extreme weather on society. And we've invited just the expert to help us do that. Meteorologist Uwe Ulbrich, thanks very much for joining us here on Tomorrow Today. Now, you're playing a key role in a major European project on this topic called the RAIN Project. Could you tell us a little more about that? Well, this project is about protecting infrastructures in Europe. And uh, with respect to the rain aspect, uh, we are trying to find out in how far the present day and the future uh, infrastructure protection is sufficient for the present day and future rainfall. And, well, this is an issue uh, we are trying to tackle. Well, you were telling me earlier about, about it's all about estimating probability and risk. How can you really make plans for, for example, for making major changes to infrastructure based solely on probabilities? Well, this is actually a challenge because many people want to have exact numbers and exact predictions. But uh, meteorology is not like that. You have different pathways in how uh, the, the weather and how climate can develop in the next years. And so you have probabilities that you assign uh, to, to the different pathways. And so you, you just want to make sure you are not too frequently flooded, for example. Mm -hmm. And uh, you take this from all these model simulations that we have. Okay, so these, these probability pathways, then, they're different. You're looking at things at the European level. We're talking about more impact at the local level. What, what's the difference between those two things? Well, the European level, you have a, a very rough, say, grid. You have information that is not really specific for a village. But uh, the village must protect itself for its local environment. And this can be different. And there is, is a technique called downscaling that we apply to go from the, say, global view to the localized view to make this possible. Um, but what, are there simple things that, that townships or cities that they could do now in terms of prevention that could, could, could really make a difference? Well, there is a current challenge of many villages. There is the sewage systems that have to be rebuilt because they are just too old now. And taking into account present day and future probabilities of heavy rain so that the sewage system can cope with them. Uh, this is really the way to go. Okay, well, let's actually, let's get away from that uh, mm -hmm. for a second. Let's move on to, a, we're talking about what happens when the rain is actually on the ground. But there's new technology, this field of geoengineering, it's called, which is about actually stopping the rain from falling at particular moments or causing it to fall somewhere else. Um, tell us a little more about that. Well, geoengineering, there is two different aspects. The one is about climate and the one is about localized uh, rainfall or hail, for example. And the latter is actually taking place at certain places. They are trying to uh, make uh, chemicals into clouds so that they prevent hail to, to develop and to fall at certain uh, locations. Mm -hmm. The problem there that I see is uh, that you could really produce hail that was, would not have happened. And the other thing is that you could harm other villages by, by this uh, protection of the one. And who is paying uh, the cost? The there? cost for that. So, the, so the, you could actually induce the damage that you were trying to prevent. Right. right. Well, that's all we have time for. Uwe Ulbricht, thank you very much for joining us on Tomorrow Today.